Did you find out, the bank card will always be deducted a little fee for no reason, a few cents, most people don't care, but a bank with tens of millions or even over 100 million customers, deducts such a sum every month, this number is quite huge, it happens that a bank teller comes up with the idea of this penny, and marks tens of millions with him, this is a story adapted from a true event, his name is Iman, an ordinary bank teller, on this day, he notices that the bank deducts a few cents, from the customer's balance in the name of various service fees every once in a while, a total of close to 10 million customers is not a small amount, customers won't find out anyway, so he thinks if takes the opportunity to get an extra penny, then one day, he will have an income of 100,000, then Ayman starts the journey of this action, he first writes a computer virus masquerading as a work message, attaches to the email to the boss, boss really doesn't notice, and clicks on the email, Ayman thus takes control of his computer, he can even monitor the boss every move, via this supervisor's computer, Ayman spreads the virus to every computer in the bank, after the blue screen of the machine at the network center, it will try to restart, at this time he needs to enter the password, after Ayman gets the password, he can enter the banking system, the server holds all clients' data, then he deducts a penny from the bills of 9.5 million customers, all marked as service charge, that's 95,000 ringgit, but the money has to be transferred, definitely can't use his own account, it's too risky, in the end, Iman found an account in the bank that hadn't been active in 10 years, successfully transfers money there. Yes! 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 However the next second, there is a hasty knock on the door, just two days ago, Iman is still a law-abiding worker, although he is stilled, because of little education, can only be a teller with a monthly salary of 2000. However intern who is his childhood sweetheart in the bank, already a cybersecurity executive, but whenever there is a problem that cannot be solved, in the end it's up to Iman, Iman has long been tired of this kind of life, but fate does not give him a chance to breathe, one day, father suddenly falls ill, need big amount of money for surgery, just when Iman is at a loss, the local gangsters suddenly kidnaps him, it turns out that his father took some loan sharks earlier, Iman only has, today's left, under double pressure, Iman finally comes up with the penny idea, now just succeed, but Lone Shark comes again, Iman is rich now, but haven't had time to get it yet, he can only turn around and jump off the building to escape, after getting into a taxi, the two sides start racing on the road, at this moment, Iman still has to think about, how to withdraw the money in order to be safest, first of all, must not transfer money directly online, that's all recorded, to risky, secondly, ATM withdrawal limit, so the only way is to withdraw at the counter, with knowledge of banking business, Iman forges a company email, confirm with the bank in advance that someone will go to withdraw money, at this moment, the pursuers in the rear have already drawn their guns, but the driver is brave enough, seeing the bullets coming, the car is going faster and faster, finally, they reach the door of the bank, Iman hurriedly shows the forged documents in advance, successfully withdraws money, not only pay off the shark loan, the rest of the money is enough to arrange for his father to have an operation, thought it is over, but when Iman comes back to work the next day, just sees the news that his boss was shot last night, security immediately blocked the bank, wait for the police to arrive, Iman at the front desk panicked, because the boss computer still has the email he sent yesterday, if found, implanting the virus will also be fully exposed, so he has to delete the virus from the server before the police, but the problem is, he doesn't have permission to enter the computer room at all, due to tenseness, Iman throws up in the toilet, at this time, an employee in the network department has diarrhea. hastily put the phone on the sink, suddenly, Iman has an idea, he tears off the tempered film of the phone, a fingerprint is clearly visible, and this is the key to the computer room, he changes into cleaner clothes, avoid all eyes and ears, first come to the network center, Iman upgrades system manually, temporarily shuts down all surveillance of the bank, by himself 15 minutes, after searching, he randomly selects an employee who is able to enter the computer room and copies, his badge, finally, he reaches the computer room, starts working on the server, now the security guards have also noticed the abnormality, then rushes to the scene, Iman tries to dealt with them, and buys yourself some time, the virus is successfully removed, and he manages to escape from the computer room at the last moment, back to the front desk, It's really breathtaking for him today, but when Iman visits his father at night, he learns from the nurse, subsequent hospitalization expenses turns out to be quite a fortune, but the money Iman stole this time is running out, if he knew it, he would have stolen more, now the bank is on full alert, there is absolutely no possibility of doing it again, this gets him into trouble again, and when Iman looks up at the various bank signs, suddenly a bold idea comes up, banks are more than only one, so Iman does it again, infects the 8 major domestic banks with the virus, a total of 80 million customers, a penny each, means he can get 800,000 in one go, rely on the money, he not only heals his father, the two also move out of the rental house, living the life of the rich, but while they are enjoying a sumptuous dinner, the doorbell rings again, Iman's behavior draws attention of lone sharks, they break into the house with guns, threaten Iman with his father's life to tell the secret of making money, seeing that his father couldn't stand the stimulation, collapses on the spot with a heart attack, Iman can only surrender quickly, he takes the laptop, let lone shark say any bank's name, 
then hacks into the bank's server in a few clicks, the bank has a total of 7 million customers, through skilled operation, he takes a penny from every account, aggregates into a dormant account, loan sharks still don't believe it, immediately receives a payment reminder, he just realizes, Iman is a swan laying golden eggs, so they decide to drain him of all value, simply live in a mansion, but Iman does not sit still, steal the pistol when they let their guard down, however he couldn't open the safety lock, instead, he is beaten up by the loan sharks, in the end, the father stands out, The father and Iman flee to the parking lot, after all the bullets are fired, then drive their new sports car, thought it would be easy, get rid of them, but the car runs out of gas halfway, the two have no choice but to abandon the car and flee, too bad father has a heart attack, he is caught after a few steps, only Iman managed to escape, being homeless, he can only ask Intan to take him in temporarily, but Iman never says anything about what happened to him. Actually, Intan has suspected that the accident at the bank last time probably has something to do with him, as loan sharks send extortion videos. Iman knows he has to find a helper, the first he thinks of is the yellow-haired man, the driver who drove last time. Then the yellow hair takes Iman's money after bargain, he takes Iman to meet the local gangster boss, the boss takes both black and white, people around here respect her as mummy, and the gang where the usury belongs happens to have conflicts with her recently. Iman immediately says, as long as he can save his father, Father, he is willing to pay the amount of money, thought mummy would help with this, but she refuses, in the end. The yellow hair can only take risks, to go through underground connections, and find the building where a man's father is being held, Iman quickly rescues his father, but suddenly, the lone shark's men appear before his eyes, only then does he know. It turns out it is a trap, they're waiting for Iman to take the bait, just when the lone sharks are ready to tame Iman, there is a sudden gunshot in the next room, another team come, instant gunfight. Iman wants to take advantage of the chaos and escape, end up being blocked in a room by lone sharks, although lone sharks go into the dead end. They want to die together with Iman, it was Mummy who shot, after saved his father. Iman is ready to reach a cooperation with Mummy, but what confuses him most is, why did Mother refuse in the first place? then suddenly came to rescue him. For this, Mummy only says there are only two things in the world, loyalty and bravery. Does that mean Iman is now cleared? Mummy doesn't answer, after she leaves, suddenly two policemen show up, take Iman away, police force Iman to cooperate, find out who is behind last night's shootout, but no matter how brutally extorting a confession Iman faces, even death threats, does not disclose any information, then Mummy appears from behind, it turns out that the two policemen belong to Mummy too, finally Iman passes the test, officially becomes Mummy's subordinate, but he's in no rush to make the next move, seeing that with the bank's continuous investigation, Iman's suspicions grow, he knows he has to find a scapegoat so he could keep working, finally, Iman chooses a colleague from the cyber department, hacks into his computer while he is on vacation, leaves evidence of the virus inside, and puts that forge ID on his desk, soon the colleague is taken away by security, the bank makes everything cleared, Intern also expresses her regret for doubting Iman before, after clearing all responsibilities, Iman officially resigns on this day, starts a full-time hacking career.